YouTube, what's up? Gonna do a cow run with my level 98 Chain Lightning Frozen Orb Sorceress. This is Nintendo Switch patch 2.5 with Terror Zones. And I'll show you the gear and the stats before I start. So here is my gear that I'm using currently. Oculus with a 5.5 light facet. Shaco with a 5.5 light facet. Mara's. Spirit. Alder's boots. Two SOJs. Arachnid's mesh. Enigma in a mage plate. And double up mage fist. I have a 1919 torch. A 2019-10 Annie. One cold skiller with 37 life, and then the rest are lightning skillers with some random life stats. Life, life, life. I like life because I don't like dying in this game. Especially when I'm grinding to 99, you definitely don't want to die. 5% faster hit recovery, which gets me over that 60 breakpoint, plus 11 light res, which is cool. And then some life and resistance charms on the bottom. Some random numbers life and resist life and resist life and mana and then one seven mf and poison resist on swap i have a 262 cta and another spirit my merc is rocking andy's with a 15 increase attack speed and fire resist jewel. Sacred armor fortitude with 6% uh, ED and the second highest life roll. 30 all res. And infinity in a man catcher with 314 ED. So that's my Merc's gear and my gear. And for my stat points... I did level once, so I'm a level 98, grinding it out to 99. 157 on the strength, uh, I could respec, but it's not worth it for the one point. And then everything else into vitality. Again, love vitality. Currently 1892 on defense, but with all the buffs and my mercenary, which I forgot to mention. Mercenary is a defiance mark. I can get up to 8,000 defense, and I'll show that in a bit. And full on res. 205 magic find. So this is a fast clearing character. It's not a super high MF character. But I think anything over 200 or around 200 is good enough. And 85 faster run walk. 105 is the break point. And 10 to experience. Which is good. For my skill tree. One point into Warmth. One point into Frozen Armor. One point into all these synergies. 15 points into Frozen Orb. And one point into Cold Mastery. With all the plus to skills that you have, one point into Cold Mastery is good enough to make Frozen Orb very effective. It reduces enemies' resistance to cold by over 100 if they aren't cold immune. Then in the lightning tree, you max out these middle ones. So max out charge bolt, max out lightning, max chain lightning, and lightning mastery. And then I have one point into static, one point into telekinesis. It's a good utility skill. I have my extra points in Nova to boost the damage for lightning and chain lightning. And then I don't have any points into teleport because I get that from Enigma. So that is my skill tree. I also have Hydras on the torch mapped in case I run into a monster that is cold and lightning immune. Usually when that happens, a few Hydras makes quick work. Plus your mercenary. So here we go. We'll go off to pick up the leg. Unless I already have a leg. 
I do already have a leg. That was convenient. Makes it slightly quicker. All right. We'll move farm. So defense is up to 3,900, and that's just with frozen armor. Once my mercenary's aura of defiance comes up, I'll show you how high it can get, which is very good against cows. So this build, the idea is that you, or the method is that you launch a frozen orb, it slows things down, does some damage, but then immediately after, so you can see that I can, I can cast them almost at the same time. So it's like a combo, frozen orb and chain lightning. I prefer chain lightning. I only use lightning for bosses and maybe harder to kill monsters. But otherwise, players 1 to 3, Chain Lightning does well enough damage. And you can see here, it, it's, it's a fast clear of cows. It's not the fastest. I would say a Javazon is probably the fastest. But this is fast enough. I just love this combo because it's like point and shoot. Pretty accurate. And uh, telekinesis is certainly good for opening chests and portals and stuff. Let's see if I can show that. So to see there, you can use telekinesis to check out that boulder. Another benefit to this combo build is if you're if you're a Nova Sork, obviously I think you can probably clear this pretty quickly. But when you're spamming Nova, you are just like any lightning skill, you can't move, can't move. But with this chain lightning frozen orb combo, there's the cast delay for frozen orb. So you get to run around. So my method is I do both. I launch them both, and then I run around. So if you're in a game with other people, say we're all doing cows or we're doing bale or whatever, I can cast this, and then I can start to comb through and pick up items. So usually when things drop, I'm able to get in there pretty quick and pick up items. While everybody else hammers and... Nova Sorks are still spamming their skills. So we're coming up on the Cow King here. Cow King is always lightning enchanted. So again, if you were a pure lightning build, this might be difficult sometimes. So yeah, lightning and fire. But my Merc made very quick work of him. So there's a big uh, cow pack coming up. So I just want to like demonstrate something real quick. So here we go. 8,200 defense. Average chance a hell bovine will hit you. 30%. In this game, 30% is pretty low. So again, if you are a ES Sork, I guess you could stand there and take some heat. But also being a defiance, I'm going to just sit here. I'm not touching any buttons. Teleport happens because of Oculus. But I'm just sitting here and these guys are mostly missing me. So if you want a tanky build, it's really not squishy at all. You would stand there and you're not... I mean, I was taking some hits, but 
It's not like they're going to kill me in one shot, have a bunch of life, and there's not, there's a low chance that they're hitting me. Get back in there. And this is a level 98 character, so it'd be very scary if I died, but the the risk of death is still very, very low with this defiance. I know, again, a lot of people, a lot of guides will tell you to do Holy Freeze for crowd control or Might Aura to make sure that your Merc does more damage, but again, realistically, your character is dealing the most damage. Might is really not going to help you clear much faster. Holy Freeze might be decent in early game where it's sort of scary to have some fast moving enemies. But once your build is late game, those two auras do not really help you. And I think the, de the defense buff late game i mean i used it since day one because that's always what i've done is defiance but i think late games specifically for a caster character certainly helps you survive and it's and it's actually benefiting you might aura does not benefit you at all holy freeze barely slows things down especially if you were a nova sork you're killing stuff so fast that Holy Freeze doesn't do anything. So, that's why I choose a Defiance Merc. And I've always done it, and I feel like I will always do it. The only other Merc that I have tried and has been helpful in certain cases has been the Prayer Merc. So, I tried a Nova Sork build. Poison is the only thing that gets through the Energy Shield version of that. So, having a Prayer Merc helps to keep your life up if you are poisoned. On the flip side of that, when I had the prayer merc, guess what happens? Sometimes your merc gets ripped. And when your merc gets ripped and you are running an infinity on him, then it no longer helps. Prayer's gone. Infinity's gone. So the main priority for this type of build is to keep your Merc alive. They don't need to do any damage for you. They just need to be there. So that was it. Quick cow run, pretty simple, very low risk. Even with this build, you can kind of just stand there and tank a lot of the damage. So yeah, that was that's just online, non-ladder, players won, but pretty simple. Uh, yeah. So that's it.